I'm sure you know that, the, you know, the offense is about to be the, the all-time league um, or the, uh, the, the best ever in the league. Um, but how much do you guys talk about it? And, and when you're on the court playing with these guys, does it feel like it is something different? We, we know, you know, uh, we know that we're, that we got the best offense and all that, but we don't make it a big deal. I think we, we know, like, for us to, to, to win games, our defense got to be better. And but we yeah we we definitely take pride on the offense being number one and 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 we work on it we work on it every day to get better at it. But yeah, we don't really like make it too much a big deal that we're we're about to be in the record, you know. Yeah. Thanks. Start with Eddie. All right, Eddie, you're up. Uh, JJ. Uh I'm wondering, I know you guys aren't involved in it, but that eight versus nine play-in thing has kind of created some buzz uh, among some teams that might otherwise not have something to, to, to uh, cheer about. What do you think about that as a, as a thing maybe going forward, maybe even lasting longer than just this particular year? I think the teams that – that had a shot and are trying to get there. I have done a great job of of winning games and I'm trying to get to that nine and eight spot. And I think it's it creates a good buzz for the fans. But I think the, the players and the teams that are fighting for it are, have done a great job, like Phoenix, uh, San Antonio, uh, Portland. So it's, it's 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 fun basketball to watch, and they're they're fighting for every game. So it's it's pretty good. Hey, JJ, uh, you know, we keep hearing that, you know, as good as Luca is, he's 21 years old, he's going to keep improving. I'm curious, in what ways do you think that he can still improve? Oh, he will. He's still going to get better uh, physical, uh, body-wise, uh, getting in, in better shape. Uh, and just at the, at the end of the game, you know, controlling the game. He's gonna, Like yesterday was the best game of controlling the whole game, the entire game. And I think he's going to be able to do that more and more often, especially when he gets older. Uh, and, and I think he's, he, when he starts maybe getting better at the end of the games, learning the game, and he could take over games when, whenever he wants. And that's only going to get better through the years and, and next, next couple of years. Okay, last one is back to Eddie, and then you'll be on your way. Thanks, JJ. Oh. Double dipping, JJ. Hey, uh, listen. KP has, you've seen him evolve from the beginning of the year to where he is now. Uh, how impressive has his uh, journey been in that regard, especially knowing that, I mean, Luke is uh, often the man and has the ball in his hands so often that the, the job that KP's done adapting to that. Oh, man, he's, he's done great. Uh, from the beginning of the season till now, he, he, he knows his, uh, well, how, big, how important he is for us. And we know how big important how he is for how, how important he is for the team. So he's adjusted amazing. He's playing great. Uh, him and Luke are doing a great job of playing together. Uh, and he, you know, he's 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 scoring from anywhere. You know, we we know he's going to rebound. He's going to block shots, but he's scoring twos, dunking, shooting threes. He's playing smarter basketball. So yeah, we we need him, and he and he's doing a great job. Okay, thanks, JJ. We'll talk to you soon.